pulling apart this 1978 Zenith to harvest the flyback for high voltage rules, but uh, must have been one of the earlier solid state. She's just packed full of chassis goodies. Look at all this stuff in here. And it looks like some sort of power regulator. What would that be? Raster. No raster may be caused by a vertical module failure. Assembled in Mexico. Zenith Radio Corporation. Hmm. Well, let's get in and get her guts out. It has this great inboard rabbit ears set up. And those are the tubes, I assume. Static isolation of some sort. They were built right into the top of the TV. Huh. Well, high voltage rules ought to be stoked. There's the flyback. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much of this I need to remove to send to him. In fact, if, when you watch this, if you give me some guidance as to how much you want, I can cut all the wires and then take the die grinder and just cut the whole chassis and give you that square. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what in there you're going to want. This is a neat machine. All hand soldered. There's the guns. It's been hot. It's got some pretty, pretty chunky uh, caps in there. Look at that transformer sitting there. Hmm. Everything's adjustable, so you can tune it. This is back in the day when you used to have to work on a TV, I suppose. Gosh, that almost looks like a microwave transformer capacitor. 300 microfarad, 150 volts there. On the big one, the tall one, I don't know what the little one says yet. Lots and lots of popping uh, ability down in here. Maybe I need to break down and jump on the uh, capacitor bank chain and make up my own so I can play along with you guys. Yeah, give me some guidance as to how much of this you actually need. Zenith out, focus. It looks like continental reference in, continuous reference in. I'm not sure what that's about. Got a diode up here. Separate fuses for red and green. I don't understand what that's about. She's a beast. So high voltage. I just, Anthony. I just excised the whole front panel here. Um, it's heavy, so that'll be a lot to send to you, obviously. You don't need this whole damn thing sent from Montana to Great Britain, but uh, it looks like I could cut that and remove that entire corner right there and send you all of that. That would not be too terribly hard. You basically get, I just continue that line straight across, nip off this bracket. So I'm, I'm thinking that's the best choice. If you'd uh, let me know one way or the other or even if you don't actually want it anymore that's fine too I'll uh I'll smoke her oh. it's like a little castle it's a magical little castle here CRT joy yep 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 the tube 
is 19VDZP22. And it looks like it was made 9 of 76. So it sat on a shelf for nearly a year. Fun stuff. I guess he'd call this the power supply. I don't know. For the moment, I'm just going to leave it together. Foster Transformer. Part number 14542. Pretty cool. That's all the uh, tuning crap. See use for that. I guess it'll just go in scrap. Interesting girl. Well, Anthony, if you'd get back to me on what you want me to do, or if you even want it, um, you know, if not, I'll play with it. But. There you go, 1978, Zenith.